Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. So today we're going camping and we're going to pass by some other states. So let's go and this will be just a short glimpse of our travel. We're here inside the RV. Uh, there's Lucas, Bandit, Kiki, Little Girl, Sassy, and Lucy. And there's their pod so that they could be anytime. And we get blanket and pillow so it will be comfortable. You see that princess there? Oh. Such a good girl. So our RV needs some wash, so we went to truck wash in our uh, city, and uh, I'm just forced fast forwarding most of the video so that this will not be a really long one. So we paid about a hundred dollars to have an outdoor wash, so that includes on top and on the sides of the RV. So basically, they have a special soap and other whatever stuff on it, so that it will be shiny and really clean uh, that quick we are almost ready and on the other side of the truck wash has the weighing scale pag ung ligo na ah, it looks better kaysa earlier so it's cleaning the tires to make it shiny Side. So we left about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. This will be almost 10 hours drive from Temple, Georgia to Arkansas. In every state line, you will see the welcome center on the other side and welcome center of the state you are entering to on the right side. Georgia and Alabama has different time zones. Georgia is using Eastern Time and Alabama on Central Time. Alabama is also full of history. They are known for their state flower of camellia. And their capital actually is Montgomery. It's just that Birmingham is the largest city. That's why uh, Birmingham is more known than Montgomery. So about two hours, the dog switches places and they move back and forth. That's why lots of blankets and beds inside. So we are now entering the city of Birmingham. So it's also huge in like almost like Atlanta. It got like spaghetti junctions. So we got six dogs with us and this is our latest rescue. Little one. Every two to three hours we have to stop. And there's a chair where you can wait. Is it that is that, that thing you got on her? walking cockeye. Come here Kiki. I guess it's kind of tight. And we have to continue our journey and we also have food that we kind of have while we are traveling. So Lucy's uh, kind of settled down in this place and uh, their dog switches at places again and we are now entering the state of mississippi so mississippi is known as birthplace of elvis presley britney spears and ofra winfrey so since we are going central time our days are also one hour behind so we can witness the sunsets but this is about almost nine o'clock in the evening driving through highways and interstates requires patience this one almost hit us and it was almost to the boundary of mississippi and tennessee indeed driving requires a lot of attention and we almost had that accident even on this sign drive safe mississippi so over six hours of drive we already entered the state of tennessee and we're going to the city of memphis so this is the one of the largest city tennessee and we still have to witness because this is like a mountainous place we still see some of the sunset 
and we're going to pass by this is by the river of mississippi the bass pro this is the ninth tallest pyramid here in the u.s or in the world so we're going to cross again the river of mississippi this is the second longest river here in the u.s and on this bridge is the welcome sign of arkansas so this river crosses 10 states here in the usa and it helps a lot in the transportation of goods and uh, or industrial uh, business here in the u.s because they go through this river using the ship so arkansas is known for lots of diamonds rivers and storms but this is the only state i've uh, traveled so far that has huge or vast rice field there are plenty of activities you can go here because they have hot springs lots of lakes and rivers so this is one of those nice places for fishing so while we pass by another love truck stop we uh, drop by so that uh, our dogs could do their business and the only thing about this is their entrance is kind of muddy and they don't have the bag so we have to get our bags by ourselves inside our rv and of course we have to continue our journey it's about almost two o'clock in the morning when we reach our destination which is the millwood uh, park and of course we were welcomed by a storm so this is how it looks like in the morning so this is about um, nine o'clock in the morning so this is the couch that uh, goes into a recliner or a bed and we just put some cover on it and that uh, is our first slide so yung mirror na yan ay makover o hindi yan siya makita bang ang slide ay naka off and then uh, on this other side is uh, yung ano other couch and then we just turn up the blinds para mas maliwanag and that's our kitchen and dog bowls everywhere and there's their pad and this is the place where we store our treats and our food and on the other side are other treats and toys and other dog stuff like the leash and all that and this is the table where we can have our dinner and uh, for our bread and uh, dog beds everywhere blankets everywhere and we have our step for our small dogs and more dog beds everywhere so they will be comfortable and they can pick whichever spot they like now in this part we can close and open this this is heading to the bathroom this is our bathroom that's the sink with our supplies here so we got napkin, panty liners, toothbrush, toothpaste, and on this end, we've got more supplies like the loofah, panty liners, more toothbrush, extra toothbrush just in case we forgot, and um, the cotton buds, um, floss, pads, uh, shaved. And this one is just the mirror that we could use when we use our and this one has a light there and we've got two slots for a towel and this is where our um, other bathroom stuff goes some drawers we've got some clinics and other supplies here and we're heading right it's this is where our um, toilet and we've got washing machine here that's washing machine and dryer in one so while you're doing your business you can wash or do the laundry we've got um, this is cover for the toilet if you need some cover and um, RV has a specific uh, tissue or toilet paper and this is the one we put on the portalette so it won't stain and we've got just other cleaner for our toilet and so even if like it's daytime you don't have to turn on the light although we've got 
light here that we can just turn on there and we've got the exhaust fan that's a fart fan so that you will not be dizzy with your poop <laughs> this door it could close the toilet and could also block this from the other side of the RV and we're heading this is uh, this could also be stuck in there and this is the bedroom uh, this is a king size and this one uh, this, that's where the machine and uh, we've got TV there some some more uh, mirror here where there is light and and on that end there's just variety of lights and more storage so that's where we put our bath towel our um, beddings for exchange and each uh, side of the bed has um, that slot and uh, oh excuse me sucking ano I just hung my um, socks and it comes with three dra drawers on each side and this is the um, cabinet where you can just slide and it is mirror also in one and on this side this is another slide of the RV so when we are moving this is all the way up to here so you cannot even pass through on that side so mirror everywhere different lights depending on your mood <laughs> so our RV we can turn on the lights on the back and in the front so we normally just close at the back because that's where the carpet and so that you will not slid or if your rug don't come with anti-slip whatever thing we put some uh, anti-slip or anti-skid something like this and every uh, thing that we have even with our cabinets so this is the one that will help prevent from sliding so um, that's another bed of our dog that we just cover with whatever that's a seat for the dog but I usually just carry it because this one is scared when we travel thank you so much for watching I have more videos of travel down there that I will post some link and a few glimpses of our RV bye y'all